Hi guys, how are you all? In this video, you're gonna learn how to create and customize your own branded email signature using HubSpot's email signature generator. According to HubSpot, the average office worker sends 40 emails per day. So that's 40 opportunities every single day to market your brand, share a link to your latest marketing campaign, drive traffic back to your website, and make new business connections on social media. Not only that, but a professional email signature will look so much more professional. You can do all of this with HubSpot's free email signature generator. Once we've created that signature, I'm going to show you how to set it up in Gmail. I've also got an exclusive offer to share with you to help you with your online branding, so make sure you stay tuned. If you're new here, I'm Nikki Pasquier. I'm a Canva certified creative and HubSpot email marketer. I am passionate about helping small business owners like you succeed online using some of the best marketing tips, tricks and tools. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn that little bell notification on so that you're one of the first to know when I publish a new video. So if you're ready, let's pop over to HubSpot. You'll need to click on the following link to access the HubSpot email generator. I'll leave the link in the description box below so you can check it out later. So click on that link and you'll arrive on this page. So step number one is to select your template style. There are six templates to choose from and they're all situated in the left hand side toolbar. You can click on a template to get a rough idea of what it will look like. They all vary in shape and size. So choose whichever one suits you best. I'm going to stick with template number one. Step number two, go back up to the toolbar and click on the next tab. And you're going to enter your signature details. You can add your business address or leave it blank if you would prefer. Underneath, go ahead and enter the links to your social media platforms. You can also add a custom field. So I'm going to add Canva Certified Creative. Step number three is head on back up to the toolbar and click on the next tab. And you're going to start customizing your signature form with custom colors and fonts. At this stage, it's a good idea to have your brand color hex codes available so you can simply copy and paste them into these boxes here. Alternatively, if you have Canva Pro, I would suggest you hop over there, click on your brand kit, and you have your brand colors here. So all you need to do is click on one, copy the hex code, go back over to HubSpot, and paste the hex code. If you don't have Canva Pro, please don't worry, because as a Canva certified creative, I have a special offer to give you, so make sure you keep watching and I'll share the link with you a bit later. I'm going to leave the text color black, but I'm going to change the link color to my secondary brand color. Back over to Canva, click on the orange color, copy the hex code, back to HubSpot and paste the hex code into the box. And there we are. I can see that the pink color has been pulled through as the theme color. My text is still black and the orange has been used for the social media links. Next, select your font. There aren't many to choose from, but you can still customize your form slightly. And the font size. So there's small, medium, or large. And I would suggest that you might want to keep it at medium. Next step, back up to the toolbar and click on the last tab. And here is where you can start adding some photographs and your company logo. You can upload your photographs from Dropbox, from Google Drive, or your website perhaps, by copying the image URL. I store most of my files in Dropbox, so I'm gonna head over to Dropbox. I'm gonna click on social media images. And this is the photograph I'm using for my social media bio photos. So what I need to do now is click on these three little dots in the top right hand corner, click on share, and I need to copy the link to this photograph. So I'm gonna click on copy link, go back over to HubSpot, 
and paste the link right here. And there you see it's appeared on my email signature. You can do the same for your company logo. So you need to find out where it's stored and copy and paste the image URL. So let me just go through that once more with my own company logo. So I'm going to use this particular logo here. I'm going to click on the three little dots, click on share, click on create link, copy link, head back over to HubSpot and just paste the link into this space right here. And there is my logo. HubSpot will also allow you to create a custom call to action, which is an incredible opportunity to get people clicking on a link to your latest campaign, to a new product launch, to whatever you want to shout about. So I've just published my latest Canva video on YouTube. So I think I'm going to add a link to it right here. So I'm going to write Canva curved text tutorial. That is my call to action button text. I'm now going to add a clickable link over to my tutorial. I'm going to paste it in this space here. Now I've got the chance to customize my call to action button color. So of course I'm going to use one of my brand colors. And I think I'm going to change the text to black. And there is my completed call to action button here, which goes directly over to my latest Canva tutorial on YouTube. And incredibly, if you don't want a call to action button, you can include a clickable image. So you'll need to grab the image URL and paste it in here, and then add the clickable link underneath right here. But I'm just gonna stick with a call to action button for now. So that's it, that's all there is to creating your signature. Now all you need to do is generate it. So you're going to go to the bottom of your screen on the right hand side, you're going to click on create signature. There are various ways you can apply your new signature. Click the copy signature button and paste it directly into your email settings. You can copy the signature source code or you can just email it to your colleagues. My business email is set up in G Suite, so I'm going to add my new signature directly to Gmail by clicking on this link at the bottom here. And HubSpot provides you with a very handy set of instructions to set up your signature. I'm going to do this with you, so I'm going to click into my Gmail account. And once in your Gmail account, you need to click on this little cog icon right here. Click on it once and click on see all settings. Make sure that you have the general tab selected and you're gonna scroll down to the bottom until you come to the signature section. Now, since I don't have a new signature set up, I'm gonna create a new one. I'm gonna call my signature Virtuoso Assistant. Click on create. And I'm simply gonna paste the content from HubSpot right into this box here. All I need to do now is scroll right down to the bottom and click on save changes. And don't forget to do this because it's something I often forget and I've lost all the edits that I've just set up. So make sure you click on save changes. And now you can check out your brand new signature by composing a new email. And there is my new email signature. And that is all there is to it. I mentioned at the start of this video that I had an exclusive offer for you. If you're not already signed up to Canva Pro, why not treat yourself to a free 45 day upgrade by clicking on my affiliate link. I'll leave the link in the description box below so you can check it out in a minute. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Be sure to check out all the videos in my Canva playlist and start powering up your email marketing with my MailChimp tips and tricks. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.